Hello, welcome to the Coffee Cup channel. Uh, I thought I'd do a little tutorial on keyframes. I guess we'll see how it goes. So right here, uh, we're in DaVinci Resolve 12. If you don't know what that is, that's just a, a video editing program. Uh, it's kind of a higher end one, but it's it's free for everybody, uh, or at least a, there is a free version of it. There are some uh, effects that you cannot use unless you buy the full version, but uh, for this video's intents and purposes, it will work uh, the way it is. Uh, the finished product can be seen here. I'll put up a little annotation and see the final product. Um, but we're basically just going to go over how I made the title card for this video. Uh, the title card, just a few notes, the title card will be in 60 FPS, hence the name 60 FPS title card version 2. Um, but this video is in 30 frames per second and the playback and the timeline editor is at 25 pr frames per second. So I think you should definitely click off and see the final product because this is not going to be a very good representation of it. So let's begin. Uh, so the first thing that you'll see is this orange background here. This is what the final product Will look like and you can see if i just go over here with the timeline boop it's kind of choppy because my computer is not the best but you see everything kind of zooms in right there there's a little bit of audio this is an inverted symbol that i got for free off of i think opensounds.org but i'll put a link to where i found it um so the way i make all these images move is with this uh, technique called keyframes and they're called keyframes animations and if you click on these little diamonds here in the editor you'll see these little diamonds and what these diamonds represent are beginning points and end points for an animation so you see if you go down to the uh, this little card here title face this is a PNG image uh, that I created in Inkscape, which is a different uh, kind of vector drawing program. Uh, you see this keyframe starts here. What this keyframe is referencing over here in the inspector window, make sure you have that open. Uh, what that is referencing are these little filled in uh, diamonds here. These little filled in diamonds right here. And specifically it's referencing the position. So you see, if, if we are on this first diamond here, the position on the x-coordinate is this number right here. If we go here to the next diamond, another way to move between uh, diamonds is with these little arrows. It moves between keyframes. You see it's just centered in the middle. And that's basically all a keyframe does. It says, okay, I want at this position in time have the position be this and this is off screen so if I turn on uh, the transformation window it shows where it is on screen and it also shows the keyframes so here's the beginning keyframe here's the next keyframe and base and the keyframe basically says here's a starting position here's an end position move towards that position over time until it reaches the keyframe and then it reaches the second keyframe and that's basically what every single one of these is. If we go to the uh, text right here. Okay, there it is. Starts at this keyframe. I'm gonna move it. It's moved. And then we've got the next keyframe and it's there. Well, that ended a bit quicker than I thought it, thought it would go. Um, I'll put a more fleshed out tutorial in, in the description uh, I think I'll just put the same one that I had in the last video. You can really do a lot with these keyframe techniques that I've shown. Uh, they're very basic, and uh, if you're if you're trying to do a CGP Gray style video like I was trying to do, they'll get you pretty far because a lot of what he does is just uh, swipe transitions and moving objects from one part of the screen to another. So that's the end of the video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments.